welcome to another episode of This Is Our Family. Brock and I are joining you from the rain today, but that is not stopping us from filming. It is winter. <laughs> now, Brock, what, what is happening going ahead with our gatherings with all this Absolutely. Like, crazy season? I'm sure you're sitting out there just wondering heaps of questions around gatherings as the restrictions are lifted. Our ministry team has been chatting and we're really looking forward to getting back together. We're doing all we can to work through what that looks like so we can do it well and we can do it uh, following the government regulations, particularly around gathering sizes and cleaning and there's lots involved, but we just want to come together and worship God together. Cool. Well, that sounds exciting. Yeah. I'm, looking, I'm so excited to get back together. <laughs> now we're going to throw to a video from Josh and Steph McKenzie who are about to leave for mission. It's really exciting to see how God is using ordinary people to do his work in this world. Hi church. I'm here with Josh and Steph McKenzie, and it's great to catch up with them. They're really excited about uh, some of their upcoming events, um, and I'm going to get them just to share with with you all what's going on in their life and uh, what they're looking forward to uh, real soon. So, Josh and Steph, just share with us what's uh, what's coming up on your horizon. Great. Well, Steph and I have just uh, been accepted as missionaries in training with CMS, and that means we're frantically packing up our house, uh, getting ready to move to Melbourne for the six months of training before we become missionaries uh, and then uh, be sent out to, to the Northern Territory. Yeah. Awesome. So um, if the church wanted to sort of follow along with what you're doing and um, maybe catch up with your newsletters, how about could they go about um, keeping in contact with you guys? Yeah, so we have a, um, a newsletter that we've been sending out for a couple of years now as we've journeyed on the process. So um, I think there'll be a link. Yep. that people can um, sign up to follow our newsletter and um, be praying for us as we go. Awesome. And we will be doing that. And we look forward to just following along and seeing what happens uh, in the next six months as you prepare to uh, get ready to go to the Northern Territory. That's Thank great you. to have you guys uh, part of our church and part of... Uh, we've really enjoyed the time that you've had here and we look forward to being connected in the next six months or so before you head off too. So it's yeah. great. Thank, Thank you, you, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much for that, Josh and Steph. Another great example of, of someone, an ordinary, normal person, just responding in an extraordinary way. Keith Baker was recognised for years and years of service. Well, Keith, on behalf of the church, I'd like to present you with this little plaque as a memento and a, a, in appreciation of all that you've done over the years for the global mission um, and our involvement in Bendigo Baptist Church. We appreciate the time that you've spent, um, the wisdom that you've uh, shared in the, uh, in the meetings for the Global Mission team and your diligence in doing all the, the behind the scenes work along the way and, and especially keeping us on track and making sure that Global Mission has never uh, fallen off the radar at church but always been a key part of Bendigo Baptist's work. And so this is something that uh, shows our appreciation to you and it's also a witness to your family of how much Bendigo Baptist people appreciate what you've done over the years so that's for you. Thanks very much. It's not my work, it's the Lord's work. Absolutely. Thank you so much Keith. I really appreciate your heart saying it's not your work, it's the Lord's. It's such a humble and exciting response as you respond to him and bring glory to his name. That's so good. Now, we wanted to make sure we invite you to this week's service online at 10.30 a.m. Make sure you're joining us for the stream or watching the replay if you can't make it. We're starting a brand new series this week called Stand Up, and it's all about how we as Christians can fight this spiritual battle that we're all in, whether we like it or not, and how we can use God's word and God's tools and God's armor to protect us and to make a stand in this world. That's great. Looking forward to it. Uh, just a really quick story as we finish up this morning. We had a, a, a young woman, mum, a part of our Eagle Hawk campus this week, driving along and actually noticed someone on the side of the road and made a, a, an intentional choice to stop and chat and pray with her. And it's really interesting. She was actually saying that she was looking at um, taking her own life in that moment. So just amazing as the Holy Spirit calls someone and responds saved her life that's incredible for God's glory. that's incredible this is so pro so powerful to listen to god's prompting in our lives hey oh i need to do that more often <laughs> awesome well thanks for joining us this week guys appreciate your presence and we can't wait to see you again next week bye